Hey, Boston Sack Shop is back at it again. If you don't know who Boston Sack Shop is, it's this small company owned by this legendary man named Jack Fanukin. He is the mastermind behind this growing, rapidly growing brand. He overhauls horns, he sells Mark Sixes that he overhauled, he makes some really popular jazz reeds, he makes these really beautiful ligatures, he makes these killing mouthpieces that a lot of people have been moving to. Guys like Joel Fromm and Ryan Devlin, the people on his ambassador list are just really extensive. You got guys like Braxton Cook, Joe Lovano, Emmanuel Wilkins, and just so many more people playing this guy's products. And if you follow him on Instagram and you catch one of his lives and just listen to him talk, you'll be able to tell very quickly that this man's a genius. He probably doesn't want me to say that, but Jack, I think you're a genius. He's very articulate in his speech and he knows exactly what he wants. He knows what sucks and how not to recreate that, and he knows exactly what needs to be replaced and exactly how to get to that point, and he just goes head first, just like a, like a gun. He just gets it done. So I'm very, very fortunate enough to have a developing friendship with this guy. He was very kind enough to send me a care package the other week, and let me go get the stuff that it included. Ta-da! So we got three boxes of reeds here, one of them being alto reeds, two and a halfs, and the other two being tenor reeds, threes and 3.5s. And not only that, he included this really, really cool pencil. Look at this. I didn't even know he was making pencils. Check it out. It came with lead. And look how bougie this is. Look at this. And honestly, I've been using this pencil like every day. This is an incredible transcribing pencil. Let me show you. See, all this was done with this awesome pencil. I really love it, it's just, it has some weight to it. I'm about it. And whenever I'm done with the pencil, I just put it back in the case, put the lead back in the case, and boom, I just, I just put it back on my shelf, and it's ready tomorrow. Now when he sent that, he said that was only part one. So part two came not too long ago, so it's time to unbox it. This time I wanna record unboxing it. So let me go get it. Here it is. Wow, this desk is really, Dirty, sorry. Ah, oh, much better. All right, so here it is. I have no idea what's in here, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. Whoa, we got some clothing? What, you have clothing now? <laughs> you never, you never cease to surprise me, what? Whoa, whoa, oh my God. This is actually really nice. Holy shoot, is this a cardigan? Bro, bro, dude, I'm about to wear this everywhere. It's super hot in Miami, but I don't care. I'll sweat. Let's freaking go. Okay, I'm definitely going to try that on and put this back here. All right, and what else is in here? We got, oh, what is this? Very nice. I'm not sure what this is. Ah, we got a cool little ligature here. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at there. Beautiful, beautiful work. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Jack, again. I love your products very much, dude. Thank you so much for what you do. And I'm going to go ahead and give this ligature a try. But first, let me put on that card again. Let's go ahead and try this. Are you kidding me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my. Oh my God, check it out. Oh man, I can't wait to wear this around school. All my Saks friends are gonna be like, hey, is that a Boston Saks shop sweater? I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. Nah, I'm just I'm just messing with you. Hey, it's been getting pretty cold around here. I'm not gonna lie to you. So this is actually very convenient timing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you kidding me? Whoops. Dude, I feel so cool in this. I'm definitely not cool, but I feel cool. Ah, ah, oh, oh, I'm from Boston now. Wow, I, that feels really, really awesome. Let me look in the mirror. Ah, it's really nice on my body. Very, very body and fitty. Very nice. Well, I'm already getting kind of hot, so let me go ahead and unbutton it. Seriously, man, I can't, can't thank you enough. Thank you for this awesome gift. I will definitely be wearing this probably more than I should. Gotta represent. Here is the beautiful ligature sent to me by Jack Fanukin himself.
So first I'm just going to try the ligature that came with the saxophone so you can get a nice little comparison. <laughs> Okay, here's the Boston Sax Shop ligature, and I just tried this ligature. I wasn't even expecting anything that big because I, I personally believe ligatures are just kind of placebo, especially after watching this video from Ear Spasm Music. I actually am noticing a very noticeable difference with this ligature. It feels louder. It feels more responsive. <laughs> are very very meaty and when I blow it doesn't like have this tendency to just want to squeak on me you know what I mean that's kind of the issue I've been getting with tenor in general but this ligature really defeats that it's just so meaty I really like this I don't know, it just feels better. Then low notes are just so meaty and the higher notes just ligature can make a difference like this? I'm not lying at all. This genuinely feels really good. I, I'm, I'm very surprised. I didn't know what I was getting in the box. I got a ligature. I really didn't expect much. I just thought it looked really cool. But this is a really good ligature. I've never been so excited about a ligature in my life. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. But holy crap, when you play it, it's a whole nother story. All right, well, I can't wait to practice on this a lot more. This setup is evolving very quickly thanks to Jack. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm probably gonna do a lot more Boston Sack Shop videos down the road. I just really love this company. Jack is doing so many things that I wish I could do. Like, I wanna make a sax company, but I don't know how to make ligatures. I don't know how to overhaul a horn. I don't know saxophone tick. I don't know how to make pencils. I don't know how to make cardigans. I don't know how to make sweaters. I don't know how to do anything handy wise. I am useless. Alright, well thank you guys very much for watching. I'm not gonna lie, it's been really hard finding motivation to do these videos. It's not because of you guys. It's not because I'm getting lazy, even though that's always on the table. Honestly, just being at this school, the players are so good, I just don't even feel worthy anymore. I'm trying to fight that nature, but I won't lie, I really feel a huge sense of the imposter syndrome. I just feel like I don't deserve a lot of this. I know I say that a lot, but honestly, I kind of mean it. Okay, I don't want this video to get depressing. All right, thank you so much for 110,000 subscribers. I don't deserve it, but have a good day.